Hello and welcome to this video that will show you how to install Office 2016 from Office 365 on a virtual machine. I ran into a problem recently which was that when I tried to install Office 2016 from Office 365 on a virtual machine and this is a virtual machine running Windows Server 2016 data center which is running through the Microsoft Azure cloud platform that I got this error message which is basically saying that you cannot install Office 2016 on a computer running terminal services to use Office 2016 on a computer running terminal services you must use a volume license edition of Office this is fairly easy to resolve and it just takes editing a configuration file and adding two simple lines but it took me quite a while to figure this out so this video will show you how to do that so if you're getting this error message simply follow these next steps Okay, the first thing you need to do is download the Office Deployment Tool. So simply Google Office uh, Deployment Tool. It's used quite frequently, so it comes up quite quickly. And we are using Office 2016, so we're going to download the Office um, 2016 Deployment Tool. If we click Details here, we could just check that it was published very recently on the 19th of the 6th. And it says by default, Office 2016, you used to click to run and it will run from the internet and it will install the full UI and automatic updates and what this tool is for is for system administrators that are looking to change the way that the office set of programs are installed at deployment but we can use this to get over the problem with running office 2016 on a virtual machine so we're going to download the software and we'll run it and we just accept the terms and continue and it's asking us now where we want to extract the files to so let's go ahead and choose a folder let's put it in downloads and let's create a folder here office deployment tool and the files were extracted successfully you'll see that there are two files in the folder you've just extracted that deployment tool into you've got the setup program and you've got the configuration file. The configuration file is the file which tells the deployment tool obviously how to configure the installation and there's a couple of key lines we're going to want to add into this. If you want to learn more about the deployment tool you can simply visit this page here and I will link this in the video it tells you that there are two files set up and configuration and there's basically a couple of steps. First of all we need to download the products and we can do that in download mode and then we need to install the products using the install config.xml and the configure switch now in terms of exactly what we need to add to that file the two lines we need to add to that file we can find that information in this article here and the two lines are simply display level equals none accept a ULA equals true and property name equals share computer licensing and value equals one I've actually recently set this computer up, so I haven't got any text editors on here yet. So I'm just going to install Sublime Text quickly, which won't take a second. You can, of course, use Notepad if you want, but it's just a far superior editor, text editor. So I'll just take a few seconds to install. Okay, that's great. So now what we can do is finish the setup and launch it. There we go, it's the text 3. And now we can edit this file by simply dragging it in. And the two lines we need to add, we're going to take now. So we've already got the display level equals none, except the ULA equals true here. We can just remove the comments from that. And now we just need the shared licensing line which was this one here you see so we'll copy that as well and paste it into the file uh, I don't want to install Visio so I'm just going to take Visio out of the config file and we can leave I'm actually using enterprise version of office but we can leave this as pro plus retail it doesn't matter it's the same same software for our purposes 
and I'm going to change this to 64 bit and that's it and now we can save that file so you see the two lines that we needed to add are just these two lines here and I will put these into the video as well into the comments so now if we go back into our office deployment tool we will see that we now have those two lines correctly input and if we just check here share computer license and value of one accept EULA is true level is none except EULA is true level is none so that's perfect so now what we need to do is download the software so we're going to use this command here so let's flick back into a, the folder and let's run a command prompt so we're going to run command and now we're just going to go into that download folder so let's get the full path here we go so if we just hit C, we're going to type cd and space do and just hit tab and it will just help us navigate into that correct folder odt is where we put it and I've just pasted in that line I've copied from the instructions that we just looked at on the screen. Set up forward slash download download config.xml. In fact, ours is not called download config, it's called configuration, you see? Just here. So we're going to rename that to configuration.xml and hit return. And you see it's already created the office folder here. So it's busily downloading Office. There's a data folder appeared already. We've got the 64-bit cabinet files coming in. So once this is finished, uh, it shouldn't take too long, we'll get a prompt telling us that it's finished. Okay, so we're back at the command prompt now, which is an indication that it's finished downloading. And if we click on the Office folder here, right-click and go to Properties, you'll see that it's downloading 1.45 gig so you're going to need a decent internet connection but if you're on a virtual machine i'm assuming you've got that so that shouldn't be too much of a problem okay so now we've downloaded the files the next step is to simply run setup with this configure switch and point it at the configuration file that we've created so we'll return back to our command prompt and we'll paste the command in um, we'll change this to the file that we've created which is configuration XML. that's just the file that we've already looked at you'll remember the file that was sitting in this folder ODT the file that we got when we downloaded the office 2016 deployment tool this file here that we've already edited to add these two lines in share computer licensing value of one and accept EULA is true so now we've done that we can simply run the setup with a forward slash configure switch and tell it that we want to use that configuration file and now what it's doing is actually installing office behind the scenes we can't even see it so we'll just wait for the command prompt to return and now we've returned back to a command prompt so the installation should be finished so we're going to go to our programs here and we're going to relaunch word And that's it. You have installed Office 365 on your virtual machine. We're no longer getting that error message when we launch Office. Hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments.